Hello everyone. Today I am discussing about how can you install a background image slider without having any plugin. It is possible in WordPress and I will show you. Um, I have a client project and uh, I am showing you the live project that uh, how to um, as you see that this is the WordPress website and here is the background image and the website is running under TV theme so the client's project to us um, he is asking for a background slider that is background image slider so you can do it without having a plugin by just few HTML and CSS codes so I will let you know how to do that firstly I have logged into my WordPress dashboard I'm going to my file manager here I'm going to the file manager inside the file manager we have to upload the images that we need to show in my image slider so here I'm going to WP content under WP content I am going to uploads by double clicking I'm going to uploads and here I'm going to folder 2019 you can mention any folder or you can create a folder it doesn't matter I have already created a folder that's why I'm using this folder so I'm going to this folder 2019 by double clicking so here I have created a slider I have created a folder that is named slider so I'm going inside the slider and as you see that I have already uploaded four images that I want to show instead of this image because it's a static image showing from DB Builder so i will remove that and will replace the image slider as a background it will show from the header option to the top of this line i mean it will cover up to this portion so let's see how to do it i have already uploaded the images now i need to go to the appearance under appearance I will go to customize so after going to this customize portion I will go to additional CSS code so it's taking a time additional CSS code under additional CSS code here I have to install some codes but before installing code here I am going back to the home page actually it is the home page and I will remove the background image so what I need to do it you just double click here and the window is opened click on the background and this is the background image I need to remove so just click on trash button and click on save and save and let's see is the image is still showing or not As you see that still the image is showing so I need to go to here again to see is it reflecting or not it is not reflecting let me see what's wrong with it so I'm double clicking here again clicking background image and click on the trash button the image is gone I'm clicking save changes and here I will 
press the save button so there is no background image okay so let's try to see from my browser again by entering to the domain so it's not showing any background image it's blank transparent now so what i need to do is i need to go to the additional css code through the customizer and here i will paste few codes i will let you show the codes actually this is my comment my uh, name is imon and my i am using this username imon coder everywhere in the web so you may have seen some videos on behalf of me so i am creating different types of tutorials over there so this is nothing it's a comment but the code the code has been started from here this portion as you see that these are the uh, css portion of this code and this is the tag i will show you which one is this tag i have copied i have copied this portion and i'm going to here and we'll show you by inspect element i have to firstly i will place since i will place the uh, background slider here therefore i have to inspect the element to find out which tag is maintaining this portion so i am right click on here inspect element and here you will see that this is the main tag here and if I add here a background image just to check that the tag I have located is right or not so I'm adding a background color here BSK back sorry background color suppose I'm king providing here green color so we are sure that this is the this is the tag that I need to add in additional CSS code to change this portion and to change image slider here and to double check I have already copied my tag I am pasting here to check okay control F control V so this is the portion actually this is the portion where you need to change so what I need to do this text uh, may differ from one to one because in my case this portion controlled by this tag but it may differ in your case so if I look here I have indicated this I have indicated this tag and write some simple CSS code I will provide you in the description bar so that you can copy it from there and here are the some HTML functionalities of my images and here I have mentioned the image path so this is my website this is my website domain under that WP content folder under that WP um, under that uploads under that 2019 folder and under that 2019 folder there is a folder called slider and under slider I have I have uploaded the four images that is 15 16 17 and 18 
so what I need to do here now I am copying all my portions and as I changed in by as I changed here by inspect element uh, so it will not it is just showing the showing the change here but actually it is not changing because I just checked here from outside not inside now I am pasting the code inside my customizer that is additional CSS file so that it will reflect permanently so here I am pasting the code and clicking confirmation button and press publish so the code has been pasted and let's see how it works wow that's great it's working now i'm just refreshing it for a better understanding as you see that the background image has been started from this header option till this portion and i have mentioned there four images one two three four and it will show four images one by one you can change the transition time here if you want i have mentioned here 16 seconds you can do it uh, increase it or decrease it whatever you wish i hope this tutorial will help you guys because without any plugin and with just a simple few codes you will be able to design an outstanding look of your home page so i hope you guys will enjoy it and if you feel that it is helpful please like share and subscribe thank you very much